beautiful sunny day outside. And what is happening here? Well, let me tell you. I've been watching my Plectral Mintos Caudatos for two years now. Not doing very well. I bloomed for me the first year that I got it. And I thought, oh well, that was easy. But after two summers, I recognized that that was nothing to do with me and my growing skills and everything to do with the fact it's just not happy. So I'm going to give it a chance, see if I can improve its conditions a little bit. You see, it is a hot grower, warm to hot. I can do that in the summer. But I can't do its minimum temperature of 20 in the winter. My minimum temps go, can go down to 16 degrees Celsius. So I know it has acclimatized now. Here it is, the last two summers with me and winters. So it's okay. But if you saw my Vandacious Orchid video, would have recognized that I was not happy with the fact that it has some fungus or bacterial issues on the leaves and they're coming back even though I cut them you see I cut the outsides anyway I'm not going to go repeat that I, I covered pretty much that part in my vandas I don't want to make this all about the same thing but having said that it's growing I mean I've got in two years, I got, you know, like five, six centimeters, but it's not happy, happy. So I'm going to put this into a self-watering with Lekka system. It does not like to have its feet tickled or touched, which is another thing because every day what I do now, I soak it in its separate bucket. But it, it, it apparently just touching the roots, it hates it. And even if I have to place it down into the bucket, it will, you know, it doesn't like it. As it is also, the cinnamon is also Andracum caudatum. So Andracums for me have had been okay with the roots tucked away and buried and not growing specifically epiphytic. So what I'm going to do is do that with this one. I'm just gonna place it in a pot, fill Lekka around it. I tried to treat the algae with hydrogen peroxide. Not much luck with do in doing that. I'm just not happy. I mean, if the algae doesn't hurt it, I don't mind. I'm just not happy with the fact of how it's growing or not growing. And I, I love this. I love the blooms. I, I want it to do well, but I wonder if I've overstepped my competency here as well, thinking, oh, it'll be all right or not. We'll find out. Yes, I'm not going to take off the little basket here. I don't, uh, I don't see the point. It is inorganic, so I'm just going to leave it. And then afterwards, I'm gonna mix up my fungicide solution, and then we'll spray it which should not be in direct sun, but it's going straight off into where it lives, where it is in full shade, although it is the brightest shade I can give it in my prime location real estate. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but all this ooing and umming and eyeing, I don't know. I don't know if I've left it too late or not. I mean, it hasn't died on me yet. But clearly, it is not happy the way it's being grown. This is a risk. It always is. I'm speculating on the fact that it's summer coming up. That I can uh, take it through the summer and get it to grow on and establish in this environment, in this setup, during the summer months. So I'm not going to do any bashing or banging around with it. I think it's had enough in all these years that I've been putting it up and down, up and down, into a bucket, out of a bucket. I think it's had enough. 
So we're just going to leave it at that. So now I'm just going to mix up the fungicide solution. The main component is Domarc. Sorry, the brand is Domarc. The component is tetraconazole at 12.5%. I have it at uh, one milliliter for five liters. Clearly, I don't need that much. I don't like wasting stuff. So what I'm going to do is pour out, take this out. And I'm sorry, I know this looks awkward, but it's the only way I can get such a small measurement because I'm taking 0 0.25 into 1.2 liters. A bit much. That's zero point five. Stuff is quite strong. There we go. I'm just going to submerge the back of the syringe into the liquid, and that should be fine. should be all there is to it. Rinse that out. All done. Give it a little stir. Put the cap back on. So I interchange my funguses. What you see is the residue of copper. And this is now a different component, so I mix them up in different batches and have them ready to go alternate. This is the way I mix my fungicide. And then I put it into recycled spray bottles that I like because they have a fine mist. And that's about it. The leftovers will go into another bottle like this properly labeled and marked and because I don't always want to get my glasses out I always make the label with the main component so I don't get confused and that I always alternate and then also the um, dosage straight onto the label so that I don't always have to look at these silly little markings and labels on these things I mean nobody can look at that anyway so yes Petromental caudat is one of my favorite angricoids and I, it is unfortunate that it is not doing very well. I'm going to remove all this stuff here. And we'll give it a spray. And then it's going straight into shady spot. It's nice and warm, it's windy, it'll be all right. I am not cutting the tips again just yet. I'm still looking to see if there's any progress or not on the marks that I have now. And this way I can monitor if it's getting worse. If I keep cutting the tips, I have no, how do I say, starting point. So undersides, we give it a good brown. And then I'm going to fill the reservoir off camera with 300 ppm at 5.8 of nutrition water. Okay, let's cross our fingers that she will do better in here. These funguses have a tendency of attacking plants that are weak. So I'm hoping that that is not the case here and that I can strengthen it and get it to thrive a little bit better. Looks a little bit silly, but if it's effective, I'm good with it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I very much appreciate it. And if you haven't seen my Vandacious Orchid video, maybe you want to have a look at that. I explain a little bit more about what's going on with this plant and uh, how it was hanging around before. Thank you everybody.
Take care. Be safe. Bye. Thank you.